What's happening everybody? Dom here from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals. Welcome back to the channel. So last week you joined us as we did a quick but decently thorough sort of explainer video on the topic of monochrome camera sensors. On the photo side of things, I had the Leica Q2 monochrome edition, which was such a pleasure to shoot on. Just had so much fun with that thing. And of course, on the video end of things, I was also lucky enough to shoot on the Red Komodo full spectrum monochrome. But this week I actually have the standard Red Komodo monochrome, not the full spectrum. Still some cool tweaks going on to this sensor here, but unfortunately I wasn't able to test these at the same time would have really loved to but regardless last week you saw a little bit of sample footage taken from that camera mostly like some side-by-side -side stuff so anyways over the next couple minutes I'm gonna try my best to show you a good amount of sample footage taken from each model all the camera and lens and shooting spec information will be labeled up at the top and now at this point in time is where I zip my trap and just roll some sample footage enjoy Thank you. 
All right, everybody, that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. And for now, at least wrap up this little chapter we got going on on monochrome camera sensors. Not to say we won't be seeing any more out of this guy. I've got some other great stuff planned out for the channel next couple of weeks. I really wanna dive back into a couple of these ISO performance and exposure recovery tests now. I can do it on the new and improved color wall, which is gonna be really neat. I plan on testing some of the biggest camera releases of the last couple of years, at least the Canon R3. I wanna test the Nikon Z9, Fujifilm X-T5 up on the new color chart. Those are all going to be videos to look out for and are just gonna be fun and informative. The best kind of fun. And after that, I was really thinking about doing some sort of versus content between the yeah, where where is that thing? Yes, that's right. Okay, I want to try to do some versus content coming down the line between this EOS R3 and the Nikon Z9 primarily, but there's room for maybe the Fuji X-T5 in that debate there. So if you have any insights on what you would like to see in any sort of versus content like that, let me know. Also, if you had any questions about this video, drop a comment in the comment section below. Ask any single question you would like on the topic of monochrome sensors. But if you didn't do any of that, what you could really do is like and subscribe to the channel. As you've noticed, over 100,000 of you super cool human beings have already decided to click that subscribe button. It could be even cooler if you hit that little bell button that's next to the subscribe button. That is going to give you a, nut <laughs> a notification whenever we post new content, which is every week. If you don't watch every week, that's okay. Let them collect all up in a backlog and then waste away a weekend watching Lens Pro to Go YouTube videos. And with that, I am going to be signing off on this one. But before I leave you, I've got to ask our YouTube community, what are you shooting in black and white next? And what are you taking out to do the job? Full spectrum monochrome Komodo, the standard monochrome Komodo, or the standard standard color Komodo, and just drop the color out. Let me know in the comment section. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.